laundromat, the family laundromat in Woodward, Oklahoma. Doing laundry. And we're doing family laundry, like That's the right. entire family's laundry. Exactly. Why are we doing laundry? Because we stink. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> Our clothes stink and we stink. We have ran out of clean clothes. Yep. And, uh, yeah. So we're... We're doing the laundry. We're doing the laundry today. Sweet. And then we're going to put on some clean clothes. We're going to go to the Walmart. And go to a Walmart. So you know you got to be stinking really bad and not have any clean clothes <laughs> if you ain't... If you got to do laundry to to and Walmart. clean before you go to a Walmart. So, hey, there you go. All right. We're RV. How to use paid laundry. That's right. Different washers. RV Ministry Life. It is not glamorous, but it is fulfilling. It's a really big tree. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful tree. Don't know what kind it is. Want so some breakfast? Ask my uh, see a cicada shell. <laughs> or locusts, what a bunch of us call them. But anyways, this is really cool. I have to ask my buddy Jason Essery if he knows what type of tree this is. Boy, it's pretty so cool. Pretty. It's a big one. Well, these are only five of our visitors that seem to come around quite often. There are several Canadian geese at this campground and you see them out swimming around on the water out here walking through all parts of the campground and this is a fairly good sized campground here on this lake but uh, they were here early this morning right after the sun came up for breakfast and they're coming back through again and it's uh, 10.49 a.m. right now There are many, many, many of them here in the park. 10,500 years ago, 10,500 years ago, mm -hmm. this was the site of the largest bison kill. Is that right? 10,500 years ago, wow. all these bison were killed before humans were even alive. Oh, wow, that's awesome. This is real histor histor history. <laughs> hmm. The information is neat. Pretty cool. Follows it. Tourists. This area patrolled by WSP Crew. Oh wow. Pretty cool stuff. And this also happens to be right next to a uh, state mental hospital and state prison, literally. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but right across there you can see the fence with a razor wire around it. So, and you can see all the grave markers and things in here. On the sign it said that this was used as a cemetery for the mentally ill patients that died. In ah. So it was used for the mentally ill patients who passed away while they were here. Is that what this is? That's what he said the sign says back there. I thought it said for those who died defending our country. No, that's the Memorial State Highway. Oh, wow. So, if you, re listen, if you read the thing, it's not that all of them is. This one here is a Native American symbol that's on here. It said on the thing before all that, it said that some of the uh, Indian and people way before in the 1800s were still here but a lot of the military that were buried here were relocated oh. to another cemetery what fort it was this one says bad face company b indian scouts very interesting on the, the sign over there mentions that one died october 5th or 1825 because he was a soldier ben clark was Oh. According to the thing over there. Thank you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I apologize. I didn't realize no, you were taking a picture. No, it's all right. Don't worry about it. All right, this is an interesting headstone. 
Priscilla Massey, Packer and Babe, 1868 to 1903. This one here, Margaret E., wife of R.J. Larkey, born September 17, 1843, departed this life May 30, 1903. And there are several in here that are like this one, that where it has absolutely nothing written on it, it's just a grave marker. And there are several of them down through there that we've come across that uh, that are the same way. They just have no writing on them. Just a grave marker. Durham. Susie J, wife of W.M., which I'm sure it means William, Durham. Born December 17, 1863, passed away December 15, 1909.